Let's pick any Neanderthal from the list. Here's one from the Gen Bank NC-011137, which was found in Croatia and sequenced in 2009 by mtDNA analysis conducted using the reverse Cambridge reference sequence. This is exactly what you wanted to see and exactly what you're asking for. Here we line up modern day man and Neanderthal, side by side. Here you can see the total mutations being 210 in current man. Neanderthal, only 10. This is exactly what we would expect if creation were true. Ancient man had fewer mutations, modern man has more mutations. My view is that in the beginning, somewhere around 4000 BC, there were no human genetic mutations in Adam or Eve nor their children. Only after the fall was there a sudden activation of genetic mutations, which one or some activated mortality. These mutations would affect the entire genome, but more certainly in the mitochondrial genome due to the close connection between mitochondria and lifespan. Now that we know genetics a lot better, we know that genes such as the sirtuins, the LOS1, the APOE, the F4, FOXO genes, all are directly linked to longevity. Especially the MTHFR gene which controls and regulates how the body functions, regulates genes, and methylates. And if it breaks, then other genes don't function as well. And everybody on Earth has a mutation of this gene from anywhere 20 to 70% loss of function. This genetic superiority of first man allowed extreme longevity. Something about the environment played a huge factor. After the flood, deleterious mutations rose much faster than before. The Bible and many other religious texts around the world are clear pre-flood man lived about 900 years some of them. In order for this to be true, pre-flood man's physiology had to be superior than ours. Neanderthal had better bone structure, and their bones were thicker and stronger than ours. They had better muscle tone. Neanderthal have up to 50% more asymmetry, better occlusion, stronger teeth, and larger brain cavity. This makes a valid argument saying that Neanderthals were smarter than us because it's been linked that brain size and intelligence are correlated. We have now found evidence that Neanderthal DNA is 99.5% identical with present day humans, and that Neanderthal DNA appears to fall inside the variation of present day humans. Neanderthal had less hair on their backs than present day humans do in theirs. This is due to a genetic marker RS4849721. This marker is shared by Neanderthal and present-day humans. For example, if you have a T at this marker position, you probably have less hair than average. Neanderthals have the T, which means they too probably had far less back hair than the average present-day human. Hmm, so that's much less hairy of an ape man, don't you think? I'll give you some more evidence. Let's look at 16 different Neanderthal DNA sequences we have and combine them all. An analysis done revealed that the 16 combined Neanderthal genomes have a total of only 18 deleterious mutations in the D-loop. A creationist would expect that these 18 mutations would be passed through Noah's three daughter-in-law, the L, M, and N haplogroups, and would be widely distributed in the modern day population if creationism were true, because we believe they are not weeded out through selection like evolution tells us. Guess what? We find all of them but one, 16369A, who probably died in the flood and never passed it on. Do you see the problem now? Natural selection cannot erase accumulating mutations fast enough for evolution to be possible. Evolution everywhere we look is headed in the wrong direction, down. And now we know for a fact that regulatory and repetitive DNA sequences accumulate mutations at a rate of 64 to 175 depending on the study. Most people today do not realize that their science indoctrination comes by the way of the news. The single best mass indoctrination tool in existence. Did you know that your National Geographic is owned by 21st Century Fox, an American conservative cable television news channel? And you really expect honesty and for them to give you accurate, unbiased scientific information? 